Hey everyone, and uh, sorry for the little delay that I've had in, in my videos, but I just wanted to go ahead and uh, show you my unboxing for my medication for my frozen embryo transfer. So I got my box today. It's a small one this time. Nothing that has to be refrigerated in this box. Um, definitely a lot smaller than my last box that I had to actually start for the egg retrieval. So this is definitely... Uh, was really shocking when I came home and I saw the the box of how tiny it was. So um, the only thing I've pulled out so far uh, is some tablets that they have here. I don't even know what they're for. I didn't even know I was getting any kind of tablets. And um, my purchase receipt that I have here as well of all the different medications. And I do apologize if you hear meowing uh, or anything. My cat has just jumped onto the table to check out the medications as well. Um, so the total bill for this uh, set of medications came out to uh, $459.97 and it looks like the most expensive item that was on here were actually the uh, progesterone uh, gels that they gave me, which I was like, ooh, that's a little steep, but hey, you know, I'm still happy. It's better than thousands of dollars that would have been. So let's get on with the unboxing. So the first thing I'm pulling out here uh, is uh, Luperlid uh, acetate injections. So I have this and it looks like I have two boxes. So I get it out. So yes, I do have two boxes. And for this one, this dosage is going to be 10 units every morning that I have to inject and I actually start this on Sunday, um, so I'm pretty excited about that. And inside each box is what the inside of the box looks like. The instructions and all that. Um, there's actually in here some wipes, alcohol wipes, there's a whole bunch of them. And a bunch of syringes. Let me just show you how many it's a lot of syringes. So those are all the uh, syringes for the actual injection. And then this little tiny bottle here of the actual medicine. So um, that one should last for a good amount of uses. It says for 14 days. So each box 14 days. So I have 28 days worth of medication. So I have that. Uh, I have more needles, more syringes. And these here, uh, it says, are to go ahead and inject, I guess, or to pull. Okay, so these are for the injecting. So I don't know what the ones inside are for. Maybe that's the one to pull, draw the medication out of. But uh, Freedom Fertility Pharmacy is really nice to go ahead and put a little label on here to explain uh, the units of what everything is and how to go ahead and pull those units. And says to please pay particular attention to this handout to assure proper dosage so i'll definitely be reading up on these so i have two packages of that next thing i have is the estradiol estrogen patches and this one apply as directed so as i guess uh, as i get closer to uh, my calendar date of when i'm going to be starting to use this they'll tell me exactly when how where um, to go ahead and put these on, but I have four boxes of these. It just says apply as directed, like I said, so I don't, I'm not sure. And then the most expensive part of the box is the progesterone gel. I have this one, Crinon, 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 I guess that's how you would say it. Um, so this is a gel. I've I've done progesterone suppositories before. I've never done never done the uh, progesterone in oil, which I'm kind of thankful for because that's kind of painful to do every day. So, but this will be interesting to put in the gel. And this one it says, insert one applicator full vaginally two times a day. Sorry if that's TMI for some people, but I am just reading what exactly the application says so i guess i'll be a morning and night and it shows that i have six refills and i know this one i'll be starting um later on as well i also do have 
in here gauzes and more alcohol pads and another sharps container and that is it for my boxing i don't have my calendar actually in front of me handy so i can't kind of can't go over it but i did have to do blood work to update all of my regular labs hiv and regular blood labs and everything that i did last year around this time before we started everything so they said they just needed an update so i went ahead and did that and they already got my results for that today i believe it was uh, I did go last Wednesday to um, go over my calendar to get all the information. I will be on one more week's worth of birth control. Uh, Sunday, Saturday should be my last day, but we have to extend it one more week because there's a specific day that um, we want to do the transfer. So that's kind of why uh, we had to push it for one more week of birth control pills. Um, but I will be starting the Lupron injections on Sunday when I start my new package of birth control pills and uh, we'll see from there and then I will have to wait um, after I do that one more week of birth control pills then I'll have to wait for my uh, cycle to start and give them a call give my doctor a call when that happens so they could go ahead and calculate and hopefully everything will align on my calendar because I there's not really much movement of uh, specifically why I'm doing a transfer on a certain day so Hopefully everything works out and um, look forward to giving you my next update. I will do another video when I start my injections on Sunday so you guys can see how I'm doing that one, how I'm mixing it and everything. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. And I thank you guys for following my journey and appreciate any all the comments and well wishes and uh, all of you guys following, like I said. And um, I hope this helps somebody out uh, out there who's watching and, and somebody can learn something from these videos. So uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and talk to you later. Bye.